can you give the babies a kiss? Brittany Bolt has a four-year-old daughter, a two-year-old son, and she's pregnant with twins, one boy, one girl. But they're not hers. It's just something I've always wanted to do. I saw a documentary, something about it when I was in like seventh grade, and um, I just always thought that would be cool. She's talking about surrogacy. Her husband wasn't as easy to convince as her children. I told him on our second date, um, probably second or third date back in college, that this was something I wanted to do one day. It's very easy to just say some mommies, um, their tummies can't grow a baby, and so other mommies whose tummies can grow a baby can help them, and then once the baby's grown, we give it back to their parents. Watching friends struggle with fertility issues, Bolt thought that, that was where she was needed. But these babies are actually for complete strangers living in New York. It feels strange because people will say, are you doing this for a friend? And it doesn't feel right to say, no, it's someone I just met. So I definitely, we definitely consider them really good friends now. Surrogacy is on the rise in the U.S. According to the Society of Assisted Reproductive Technology, the numbers have more than doubled in just a few years. In 2004, there were 738 children born of surrogacy in the U.S. In 2011, 1,593. The question she's asked most? How are you going to give the babies away? And I do not see it that way at all because they are not related to me. They're not genetically mine. So it's giving the babies back. The babies are due right around Thanksgiving, and both families say that's fitting. A good time, they say, to celebrate life. Allison Powell, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.